Yo, yo, people, Wagwan, welcome back to Run Stack Up. If you want to get your Raspberry Pi 500 Plus to do this, stay tuned. I got sent an email by the people over at Raspberry Pi regarding the Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. It's a new Raspberry Pi keyboard config. So because this has RGB and some more features, they've sent me some files that I can actually control the features on the keyboard itself. So I'm going to jump in, show you guys how to install it, how I'm installing it. By the time this is released to the public, it might be accessible by simply going um, sudo apt-get install and trying it that way. But what I have already DB files, the Debian files. So let's jump into this one. The first thing I need to do is to install the Raspberry Pi keyboard updater. So I'm going to copy this command here, paste it into my terminal. Let me show you guys how to go back one. So to go back using the command line, you simply do CD, which is change directory. That's going to bring you one level up. So I'm going to press enter now. If I do LS, that's going to list all the files in this location. Um, nothing there. Now for me to get into my downloads after I've opened terminal, I do CD then I type space, then the word downloads, D-O-W-N. And in some cases you press tab and it will do auto completion. So I'm going to press enter now. I'm in my downloads folder. I'm going to do ls to list all the files here. ls, press enter. It's going to list everything here. And the commands that they sent me were sudo apt install and I have the file here. So I'm going to simply highlight this. I'm going to control C to copy. Come back here, right click. Sometimes the middle click works to paste. Yeah, that works fine for me. So I middle click the mouse wheel. I'm going to press enter now. Yep, that's installing what it needs to install. So I just got this error, which tells me that I'm not able to run the DB file. So what I'm going to do, I did some research quickly and apparently if I paste this in if I change the mode to 644 of that specific file it's going to then allow me to do it so I'm going to press enter here okay the mode's now been changed I'm going to press up on my keyboard once that's going to be the most recent command which I put in press it up again and that's going to allow me to install this hopefully so let's see if that works this time all right so that didn't work the first time I'm not sure why it came up with that error I didn't actually read everything it says Raspberry Pi keyboard FW update is already the latest or the newest version sorry so now back on here I need to run this command here so I'm going to copy this control C to copy go back to my terminal window I'm going to click the mouse wheel so i'm not sure if the mouse wheel is showing i'm going to click the mouse wheel and that's going to paste it then i'm going to press enter perfect so it says your keyboard firmware has been updated with whatever that is i'm going to go back to my text editor again and now need to install the keyboard config so that's the other file i have i'm not going to share these files i'm going to wait for the raspberry pi foundation to send these out to everyone highlight that Control c to copy go back to my terminal i'm going to paste this press enter okay it's giving me the same area as before so what i'm going to do is change the permissions of this file as well Perfect, everything seems to have installed okay. So they also gave me a readme file and the readme file has a list of commands I can run on here to do different things. So I'm gonna test out some of the ones I think are more interesting. I was also told that this tool is both a command line tool and a Python library as well. So you can use Python to interact with the keyboard config. I'm not gonna get the chance to use every single thing on here. So I've picked out a few that I think would work really nicely for a video. So apparently I can play Flappy Birds. I can run random LED tests. I can watch for key presses. That's really cool as well. I can list all key codes i can set to typing heat map effect i can reset key maps to default and i can reset rgb presets probably not going to do those last two but let's have a quick check of especially those first three i think are quite cool so let's go so what i'm going to do first is clear this so i have a nice clean one and i'm going to play flappy bird first i'm going to turn the light off so that this can be shown clearly so i'm going to turn my light off here i know there's a shadow my apologies but i had to do that to make sure that you guys can see everything clearly i'm going to copy this command here i've installed everything i'm going to paste it here then i'm going to press enter on my keyboard and see what happens i had to turn off the overhead light as well so sorry for the grainy video but this is the only way i could show everything here so it says starting flappy bird on keyboard instruction press spacebar or any button row key to make the bird jump press q to quit avoid the blue pipes your score is shown on the top row so that's a purple leds keyboard is locked unlocking press and hold the unlock keys until the counter reaches zero the unlock keys are row zero row two column zero column 14 so i have to press escape and enter at the same time for this to reach zero so i'm guessing the game will start after this so let's see what happens next keyboard is unlocked flappy bird initialize press space to jump this is so crazy i'm playing flappy bird on a keyboard wow okay i fail then let me press again yeah i'm rubbish at this game so i need to stay above the blue oh died again but you know what this is quite cool the fact that i can actually play this game let's try the next option so i'm going to press q to quit that's quick i'm going to go back to my thing here i'm going to copy run a random led test so i'm going to copy this then i'm going to paste it into my terminal window here let's clear all of this let's clear this as well that's been cleared middle button to pasting my command there pressing enter this is the led test this is quite cool i like the look of this i've never been a big fan of led but this is just fun to look at all right i'm going to stop this as well this one is watch for key presses so i'm going to paste this as well i'm going to press enter and let's see what happens so i'm going to press q that's it i like this this i like this is quite cool 
So whatever key I press, it lights that key up. I wish I could change the color of it. And you know what? I probably can change the color of it. I haven't tried yet. And to stop this one again, you press Control, hold it down, and then press C, just like you would for copy. This command here allows me to list all key codes. I have no idea what that is, but let's see what happens. I'm going to paste it here, press Enter. Okay, here we go. So these are all the key codes, 575 key codes. All right, fair enough. That might be useful for when you're programming something that could be quite useful. It says set to typing heat map effect. I have no idea what this one is as well. So let's copy this. Go back to terminal. I'm going to clear this entire thing so it looks a bit neater. Can't see anything. Bear with me. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I think this is a better effect personally than the previous one. So whatever I press, the center of the key I press. So for example, if I press space here, it radiates from the space bar and goes out. If I press enter, same thing. If I press backspace, same thing. This is probably the cooler effect. This is quite nice. This is nice. Oh, and if I press and hold one place too long or press too many in one location, what will happen is the intensity increases. So it's actually a real heat map where it goes blue if it's cool, yellow stroke orange if it's a bit warmer. And if you keep pressing back and forth, it will go red. This is sick. I like this. Simple. See, I'm a simple man. All right, what's next? Control C to end this one as well. Oh, I don't know how to end this one. I might leave this one on for now. Let's try another one. All right, I'll pick some more random ones. So this one says show ASCII art keyboard layout. So I'm going to copy this one and see what happens again. Control C, paste it here, press enter. Okay, I press tab. What happens? Okay, it doesn't do anything. It just shows me the layout on the actual terminal. That's quite useful. So I can also set all the LED colors. I can set individual LED colors. I can set specific RGB effect. I can set global brightness. I can switch to save the preset. This is a very, very cool thing to have here. Personally, I would say for me, this effect is the one that I'm going to stick with. So let me just go back to my terminal. Let me move down a bit. The heat map is by far the coolest one that I've noticed so far. This is probably going to be made available to everyone. So once you get your hands on this, you can scroll through. You can have a quick look and see what things you want to do. Obviously, I couldn't show every single thing in this video. So hopefully that was useful to someone. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.